In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to take a cell phone video and put it in a high definition project. The result will be much like what you see in news where all the video they have sometimes is from a cell phone and so they have to figure out a way to attractively fill the screen with the video. Let's give you a short example of what this might look like and then we'll show you how we constructed it. The first step that I need to do is to take my cell phone video. I'm going to drag it down on track number one. Now, unfortunately, the video here is uh, oriented toward the wrong direction, so I need to click on my Tools button above my timeline and then choose Power Tools. We're going to go ahead and click on the Video Rotation button, the second one from the bottom. And I have to give myself a little more room here. And then I click on the box to the right, which will give me a 90 degree rotation. Now it looks pretty good here, but what it actually has done is it's cropped my video. And I don't necessarily want to crop it. I could leave it like this, but let's assume I want to have everything from the top to the bottom. I need to double click, click on it again. That will put it in my PIP designer. So once I'm in my PIP designer, I can go ahead and take that video and resize it so we don't lose any of the pixels at the top or the bottom. And then we'll center it as best we can on our screen. So there's my video. Now I need to fill the area to the right and to the left. Uh, before I do that, what I need to do is go ahead and add some tracks. I'm going to right click anywhere here and I will click on Add Tracks. I want to add one video and audio, but I want to add two effect tracks. So I'll click on this and now I have two tracks below video two. You can actually take that second effect track and put it below three. And you'll see in a minute why I want to do that. But I want an effect track below uh, track 2 as well as one below track 3. So now that I have my video and it's the right orientation, I'm going to take this and copy it from track 1. I'll right click and click on copy. I'll move to track 2, right click and paste. And I can overwrite since there's nothing there. And I'll click on 3, right click and paste it there as well. Uh, just to make sure I don't have any interference, I'm going to turn off the audio in the copy on track 2 and the audio on track 3. Now I have three basically that overlay each other. So what I'm going to do is take uh, click on track number 2 and I, I'll, I'll take this one and I'll move this to the left. And I'll take track 3 and I'll move it to the right. And I, you notice I still have some black on either side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these and uh, adjust them a little bit. We're going to take track number two, which is on the left side. And we're going to click in my power tools again. And this time we're going to go into the crop and zoom option. So I'll click on my crop and zoom button. I get a warning screen. I'll just click that. Oh, I'm okay with that. We're going to go to freeform. And what I want to do is I want to basically take the left side of the image and be, let that be the one that I, um, I use. We're going to uh, try to estimate about half the size of this. We can go a little more if we want to, if it over, over, overlaps a little bit that's no problem and so we'll crop it to the left side and now I'm going to enlarge it again I'll double click on that 
and that'll get me back into my pip designer for the second time and uh, I'm just going to make it bigger in terms of size proportions and click on OK the next thing I want to do on this particular one is I want to blur it and uh, we'll show you in a moment how to do that so I'll take the one on the right and I'll click on my crop and zoom here as well we'll crop and zoom this one same warning sign and we'll do a free form this time I want to make sure I have the right side of the video and click on OK Okay, so now I have the right side of the video. I'll double click and get into my PIP designer for this one. And we'll enlarge it. And so I have a little bit of the left side of the video, a little bit of the right side of the video. Now I, what I need to do then is blur both the right and left sides. So below track 2, now I'm going to use my effect track. I'll click to the effects. I'll move to the area of my blur option and drag that and put that under track 2 and then I'll increase the duration to match the duration of the clip. So with the blur picked, I'm going to choose my mask option and then we're going to mask the left side with the blur. I can change the degree of the blur if I want to as well. The default is 5. I'll leave it at that for now. Then we're going to do the same thing on the right side. We'll drag the blur below track number 3 and take that and increase the duration to match the size of the clip. We'll double click on the blur option. We'll choose the mask where the default is a box. That's fine for me. And we'll go ahead and we're going to blur the right side. So I have my original footage in the middle, uh, which is my normal uh, video. And then I have blurred a little bit of the video from the cell phone. A little bit on the right side, a little bit on the left side. They overlap a bit, but we can't prevent that. We'll go ahead and play the movie. And now we see the, the uh, cell phone in the middle. And we have the slight blurring on both right and left side. 